imagine turning your ideas into professional videos without spending a dime or touching complicated software? Sounds unreal? Not anymore. Introducing the free AI video generator, your creative shortcut to stunning high quality videos in just minutes. Whether you're a content creator, a small business owner, a teacher, or just someone with a story to tell, all you need is your idea. Type it out, choose your style, and let the AI do the rest. No editing experience, no problem, no design skills, we've got you covered. It's fast, it's free, and it's built to bring your vision to life effortlessly. Why waste hours editing or pay for expensive tools when the future of video creation is literally at your fingertips? Start creating for free today and let your content speak louder than ever before. All right, let's dive in. Getting started with Halo 2. Using Halo 2 is incredibly simple. Just head over to Halo's official website. The link is in the description. Here, I've created a brand new account to show you the experience from a fresh start. New users get 500 free points right away. Once you're in, you'll see two main options, image to video, upload any image and watch it come to life as a video. Text to video, just type a prompt and the tool will generate a full video from it. Halua O2 supports output up to 720p resolution and lets you choose between 6 second and 10 second durations. Want full HD, 1080p is also supported, but currently only for 6 second clips. First, let me show you some examples using the text to video feature. Later, we'll try image to video. Why Halua O2 stands out? What makes Halua O2 special? is its ability to understand complex prompts and apply realistic physics like no other model right now. Example 1. A robot barista preparing three different drinks simultaneously at a futuristic cafe. I click generate and the result? Absolutely incredible. The robot prepared all three drinks with mechanical precision. You could even see steam effects. Yes, one of the cups vanished at the end, but this was still one of the most polished AI-generated videos I've seen. Now let's compare that with the same prompt in Kling 2.1. Kling 2.1 had a decent robot design, but the drinks looked fake, and the timing felt off, so this round goes clearly to Halo O2. Next, let's test whether Halo Shu O2 can accurately generate historical figures. Prompt. Albert Einstein playing chess in a cozy library. I wanted to see if it could recognize and realistically render Einstein just from text. The moment the video loaded, I was stunned. It looked just like Einstein, deep in thought, seated in a warm-toned, book-filled library. Facial features, hair, even his slightly frustrated expression, it was all on point. Let's see how the other handled it. Kling 2.1 gave me someone who looked like a sitcom professor, not Einstein. So once again, Hey Lushu O2 wins. Prompt example 3. Now let's test how well it handles real world physics with this prompt. A skateboarder performs a 360 flip off a staircase with realistic body motion. The video it produced was almost flawless. The skater popped the trick, flipped cleanly mid-air, and landed with perfect flow. Arms, legs, posture, it all looked smooth and physically accurate. There were no strange deformations anywhere in the scene. Nothing like a head separating from the body, or a hand randomly vanishing. Now when the same prompt was tested in Kling 2.1, Kling 2.1 was worse. Movement looked backward and floaty, like the character was defying gravity in a bad way. It just didn't feel real. So once again, the point clearly goes to Halo O2. Prompt example. Let's move on to the next scene. A street magician pulling a glowing orb out of a hat in front of a cheering crowd at night. Halo O2 handled this beautifully. The magician stood confidently 
pulled a glowing orb from the hat, and the lighting had a magical vibe. There was a brief flicker in the orb, but nothing too distracting. The magician's hands and the crowd's faces stayed perfectly intact the entire time. No odd angles, no strange distortions. The composition and lighting were spot on. Kling 2.1 had a clearer video, and the orb was present, but the magician's motion looked like he was just tossing a ball, not performing a magic trick. So Halor O2 wins this round as well. Next up, a futuristic dog walking itself using robotic legs, and a smart leash through a cyberpunk city. Halo O2 completely nailed it. The robotic dog walked on mechanical legs, leash held firmly by a claw-like mechanism. It confidently strolled through neon-lit streets, and the entire scene felt alive. Details were crisp, lighting effects vibrant, and the concept came through clearly. Kling 2.1 did a decent job on the city, and the dog's form, but the leash floated awkwardly, and the dog's movement look also natural. So another win for Halu O2, or Kling 2.0, but time for a light-hearted, comedic test. A squirrel wearing headphones, DJing at a forest party while rabbits dance around. Halu O2 created a scene that was both hilarious and adorable. The squirrel had headphones and was scratching a mini turntable like a pro. Rabbits were dancing in sync, with leaves flying around. It felt like an actual forest rave. Kling 2.1 made the scene look more like a forest ritual than a party. The squirrel just stood still, and the rabbits looked frightened. So once again, Halu O2 takes the win. Now, let's go for something epic. A knight flying through the clouds on a mechanical pegasus, holding a glowing sword. Halu O2 absolutely crushed this one. The pegasus had gear-driven wings, the knight looked bold, and the glowing sword shimmered in the sky. The whole scene looked like a shot from a cinematic game trailer. Kling 2.1 and got the art style close, but the wings moved stiffly, and the sword kept blinking in and out of visibility. Another point for Halua O2. Finally, let's test one of Halua O2's most impressive strength, camera movement. The camera orbits around a dancer on a rooftop at sunset then slowly zooms out to reveal a glowing city skyline. Halu O2 executed this with elegance. The camera orbit was smooth, and the dancer's motion was graceful and fluid. The golden sunset cast soft shadows across the rooftop. It was stunning. Then the zoom out to the skyline was perfectly timed and visually satisfying. Kling 2.1 tried the orbit, but the transition was jittery and the skyline warped as the camera pulled back. So yet again, Halo O2 proves it's in a league of its own. Let's put these video models to the ultimate test with a highly detailed cinematic scene. A live sports scenario. The Wimbledon finals sent a court mid-rally. Two elite players trading fast-paced shots, crowd holding its breath. Halo O2 delivered a thrilling sequence. One player lunges to return a volley dust flying, every movement fluid and physically accurate. The lighting, the camera angles, it all looked broadcast ready. Kling 2.1 showed the court, but it felt undersized and the tennis ball never appeared. Clear winner, Halo O2. Now for a high-speed action scene. A race car drifts through a tight Tokyo corner at sunset, neon lights reflecting off wet pavement. Halu O2 absolutely nailed the energy. From tire smoke to lens flares, it all felt ripped from a cinematic trailer. Motion and physics, spot on. Kling 2.1 also handled this scene surprisingly well. So this round is a two-way tie. Now testing the MS2 avatar to video feature, where your photo drives the scene. I uploaded my image as a sci-fi bounty hunter and gave this prompt. The bounty hunter leaps from a rooftop, activates a jetpack, and fires a plasma blast at an enemy drone. The drone dodges, returns fire, and sparks erupt midair. Halo O2 recreated it exactly how I imagined. 
jetpack ignition, plasma fire, reactive lighting, it was all there. The drone counterattack and spark effects felt dynamic and intense, flawless execution. Kling 2.1 had major distortion issues, the arms and legs warped during flight. Winner again, Halo O2. Next, a classic sword fight sequence using a photo of two samurai. Prompt, the camera circles as they clash swords, sparks fly, then zooms into their intense expressions. Halo O2 executed it brilliantly. The camera rotation felt like a movie shot. Sword collision looked powerful, not floaty, and the facial close-up added tension and drama. Kling 2.1 inexplicably turned the swords into lightsabers, not what was asked. Another win for Halo O2. Let's test anime-style storytelling now. Prompt. A schoolgirl talks to a floating spirit under a cherry blossom tree. The camera slowly zooms in. Heiluo O2 delivered an anime-like masterpiece. The interaction felt real. The girl's expressions changed as she spoke. The zoom was gentle, just like a heartfelt anime scene. Colors, composition, pacing, it all worked. Kling 2.1 showed the setting, but lacked interaction. It felt disconnected. Easy win for Heiluo O2. Now let's check vertical video support. I uploaded a vertical image and used this prompt. The camera slowly pans right, revealing a boy on a balcony. A girl in red waves up from the street below. Halua O2 rendered it beautifully. The boy looked out thoughtfully, and the girl below waved naturally. The camera pan was fluid, with a cinematic feel. The whole scene stayed true to a vertical anime frame. Kling 2.1 attempted the scene, but failed to execute the camera pan, and the girl character was completely missing. So once again, Halua O2 takes the win in this round. Now let's try a more intense vertical video test, this time packed with action. Here's the prompt I used. The camera zooms rapidly into a boy's face as he suddenly spots something terrifying. His eyes widen in fear. He spins around and bolts. The camera chases him through a foggy alley, illuminated by flickering neon lights. Halua O2 absolutely nailed it. The zoom was sharp and dramatic. The fear on the boy's face was both clear and believable, and once he started running, the camera followed him smoothly, maintaining the tension. Surprisingly, Kling 2.1 did quite well in this round. It followed the prompt closely and delivered a decently composed video. So for this round, it's a Halua O2 across all the tests I've run. Halua O2 has consistently performed at the top. It handles even complex prompts with impressive precision. So as of now, the best AI video generator you can actually use is Halo O2. As I mentioned earlier, when you sign up on Halo O2, you get 500 free credits right away. Creating a 720p video costs just 25 credits. To unlock full HD, 1080p, you'll need to move to a paid plan. The most affordable plan costs $7.99 per month or about Rahel 6900 per month. In comparison, Kling 2.1 charges £79.2 per month, making it significantly more expensive for weaker performance. So if you're looking for performance, affordability, and ease of use, Halo O2 is a no-brainer. Now let me show you how to use this tool for free indefinitely. First, log out of the Halo O2 account where your free credits have run out. Then go to a website called Google Cloud Lab. The interface looks like this. Link in the description. This site lets you generate unlimited usernames and passwords. And here's the kicker. It's an official Google-owned platform. Click the green sign in or join button. You'll be redirected to a login page. Use your Google account to sign in. It'll ask for a few basic details, like your date of birth. Just enter them normally. Once done, your Google Cloud Lab account will be activated. Now click the green Start Lab button and check the I'm not a robot box. 
In just a few seconds, typically two to three seconds, Google will give you a new username and password, essentially creating a fresh account for you. Now let's set up a new Chrome profile to use this account cleanly. Click the profile icon in the top right corner of Google Chrome. Select Create New Profile from the drop-down menu. On the next screen, click Continue without signing in. This will open a fresh Chrome environment, ready for you to start using your newly generated credentials. Now, enter the username and password you received from Google Cloud Lab. Use the username as your email, enter the password, and click on Sign In. You'll be prompted to accept a few terms and conditions. Just go ahead and agree to them. And that's it. Your brand new Google account is ready. Next, head over to Google and search for Hell Law AI. You'll receive another 500 free credits just like before. By repeating this simple process, you can use the tool for free indefinitely. That said, once you start creating more complex or high quality videos, I do recommend switching to a paid plan. It's much cheaper than other tools out there and absolutely worth it. Now here's something very important. Don't close the session timer on Google Cloud Lab while the process is running. If you shut it down right after receiving the username and password, Google might assume it's a case of platform misuse or even flag it as a potential security breach or phishing attempt. So just let the session run quietly in the background. No need to worry. It automatically expires after one hour. If this video helped you, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing to support the channel. I share the latest AI tools, hacks and updates every single week so don't miss out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.